What's going on, guys? We're back. We're back at it. This is Bust the Move with me as always. Co host Dave. Coming at you with another battle report, May. So, this is the second game of the Quest for Atlantis Grand Tournament. Mm. So, if you haven't watched game one, go fucking watch it. Do it. Um, I got five points. Mm -hmm. Dave, you got. A solid one. So, you know, this was all a part of the plan. Exactly. We submarine. Submarine. Our, see, our gaming club. I can't really tell you what it's called. Because it's a secret. The short name for it is SGC. We invented a submarine tactic. <laughs> we are the founders. <laughs> we are the founders. <laughs> we perfected it. So we submarine, and basically, you can submarine in two ways. You sub submarine soft, then you only lose like the first game. Mm -hmm. Then win the race. Then you start winning, like, and you start working your way back. But then, you know, that's, that's a soft submarine. But, but because by game three, four, if you keep winning, you're going to be up there with the good players, right? Or you submarine hard. That's what we call the extreme version. That's the... Ex that's the when, when you hit bottom, you're not only hitting it, you're scraping that motherfucker. Scraping. We call it the deep, the deep watch. <laughs> 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 so going into this game, we're gonna decide, are we gonna do the, the soft submarine or the go through the deep blue sea? Yeah, are we gonna scrape the surface or hit rock bottom? Yeah, so the second game is gonna be against... Who knows? Fucking not past, man. God damn, pause it, it, man. Pause it. Boy, et for pause, man. Pause it manually, for fuck's sake. <laughs> English. Oh. I want to start over, man. Why are you saying keep it? Keep it. Are we still rolling? <laughs> We're still rolling. Yeah, pause it again. <laughs> Who could it be? Go, boats. Gobos. Okay, so it's playing now, right? Yeah, it's playing. I Are think. You, we're fucking sure. I need to double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, playing. it's playing. It's playing. We good. Sorry, sorry uh, for the technical issues, guys. We had some problem with our connection. Yeah. Oh Jesus, no. Fuck. Okay, enough with the with the, with the IT issues. <laughs> But right. we, you see, we have made some <laughs> some uh, advancement in our editing. Oh, <laughs> we draw an arrow. All right, nice. Oh, it's it's not bulletproof though. I accidentally typed the text uh, not in a straight line. You okay. see, you see the. Or <laughs> <laughs> it's the best you can do though. And the editing quality is gonna be going a bit back and forth you know I did it when I felt for it felt like doing doing it um, but basically okay it's me against orcs and goblins all right what do you want snows um, so let's just go over the list uh, oh, the scenario is uh, this was let's see not counter thrust what deployment was this uh, it was let me see yeah it was one uh, where the only thing that can be placed in the far corners are like calves and yeah, yeah 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 okay so i don't remember what it's called but basically you remove like 12 inches from the corners where you only can place light troops and uh, scouts and calves i think yeah uh and the objective here was probably it was breakthrough. Yeah, breakthrough. So let's go over her list. No, let's not. We're going straight to charges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so really? Okay, she got she got a scrap wagon here to the right, and then he, she has a skewer. Then it's an orc. No, I'm going from right to left. Uh, then it's an orc uh, boar <coughs> chariot. Oh, sorry. Then it's forty. <coughs> Jesus. Jesus. 
Sorry. Then it's four uh, cave goblins with two mad gits. She got her iron orc warlord on a uh, wyvern, and he has a not a full setup. He has like the sword of strength and like a three up five up, I think. All right. Then she has eight trolls, a uh, Nash wrecking team. Mm -hmm. With me? Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, a Gargantula in the woods, and it's actually a mount, so it, she has her wizard on pyromancy on the Gargantula. She has the Mother Shrine, the Spider Mother Shrine, so it's a path, path master. Okay. And like with some more stuff, she had like Wand of Stability, I don't know, maybe Ring of Fire, she, she had some stuff. Uh, then it's a then it's another wrecking team, another skewerer, mm -hmm. 30 savage orcs, and another gargantula. So All the right. so deployment, uh, we went back and forth a little bit, and then she decided to drop everything to get first turn. All right. Uh, so I got to counter deploy to her. And um, basically, what I was keen about was. Like orcs and goblins all always have like more stuff than the elves because they're cheaper, so I need to pick my matchups. Uh, but I still have I have a lot of options here, so I decided to go with most most of my stuff uh, here to the right. All right. What I was, man, focus, man. What do yeah, I'm focusing. I'm focusing. So what I was uh, most focused was my red lions. I wanted to go against the trolls because uh, they're the only one that can safely take on the trolls. They, they they wipe out the trolls pretty easily because they have the flame banner. Yeah. Uh, my chariots it gets a bit like it's it's a long grind even if I don't die. It's a long grind, and they can vomit that like that hit automatically. That's bad because otherwise they hit on a five. And wound on a three plus and no armor save. Um, oh yeah, that's dangerous. They can get six of those. If I charge one lion in, they can bomb it with six guys mm, on a chariot. That's no good. So it's gonna be the white lions. Th that was basically what I was most uh, focused about when I wanted uh, her to deploy, just to make sure my white lions get that matchup. Because the rest of her army is like, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Like uh, the the monsters are no problem, the savage orcs. If they get, if they looks like they're gonna be a problem, I can shaft them, and they're friends, so they will overrun. So yes, made make sure made sure to have a lot of shaft, so have some shaft nearby. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go into it. You know what we forgot last game? No. Previous tournaments, you always made predictions. Oh right, yeah. The last game I I saw the ending, but this game I really don't know. Uh, you that's don't remember, right? Or if you do, we can skip predictions. But if you don't remember, we do them. I seriously don't. Uh, Alright. So what do you what do you guess? Uh, since you explained your battle plan first, you have a solid battle plan. Uh, she has a lot of units, so I think you're gonna win, but. Not by that much. 1370. 1370, alright. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Uh, so, she gets first turn, and I have already made a mistake. <laughs> not, not a big mistake. But basically, I vanguard it off my, up my shaft. I'm a little bit concerned about her mad gits, because against elves, they. Against they everything, they're horrible. Yeah, but it's like it's not as bad like against orcs and slaves and stuff because no, that, that's true, that's true. But against me, like I can't have them go through my white lines, for example. No. Um, so I wanted to just be in range to try to get them out, and I like didn't even think about he can just charge there. So I like ah, oh, you can just charge, I can just flee. So I fled, um, but that means the mad bits are still there. Uh, but I, I'm, I want to get them out before I engage. Also, I need to like remove all the manga squeak. I want to remove all her bullshit. Mm -hmm. and then I ha I should be able to pick apart her combat units, I think. But I need to remove all the shit. 
Um, so her first turn, I flee there. Rest of her army just moves up. You see a little bit here into the woods. Mm -hmm. And Sorry about that. Um, this is oh, this is still just this is just picture of. Uh, I took a picture of the shards, and then I this is just pictures of the armies. This is picture of my <laughs> army, <laughs> <laughs> and this I had to take a close up because you see the sign. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a a really cool touch. Uh, no LCs. Uh, because goblins hate elves. <laughs> that was really funny. Also, the, this uh, opponent was top three in uh, best painted, I think. Uh, Didn't she win? Yeah, this yeah she won best painted even. So always fun to to be up against good painted armies. And now we sh we start. Uh, the chariot failed charged up. He moves his wyvern behind the piece of impossible. Scrap wagons move up a shit ton. And, and you're taking some wounds at the right scrap wagon, I see. What she had first turn? How is that possible? Is that she had first turn? How is that possible? It might be some uh, market for something else, but maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, these move up aggressively. You see one of the mangle squig. This is one turn of movement. Jesus. She rolled a triple six. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, the other mang mango squid moved more naturally. Um, so basically she recognized I have the ranged advantage and wants to push up. Uh, so it looks like so. The magic phase, 10 dices. And I wrote Highborn Elves turn 1 twice here in different angles. Cool. 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 Um, so I, I think she failed cast something in her magic phase, so the magic didn't do a lot here. All right. Going into my turn one, here I did a thing. I was like, should I do it? It could be a problem. Uh, I'll probably, I think I, w I was like a bit, what do you call it? Overselling? Overconfident, Overconfident. Or like, I was like, I saw like, uh, this could be a problem. And I was like, but, I'll fix it, and did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I do solid. Like it didn't end up being a problem, but so in hindsight, still, why did I do it? Um, so my knights of Rima charged the scrap wagon. Okay. Yeah, the way the what I was thinking was, I just need to clear away the shit, all the shit, so I can deal with these combat threats. This leaves his wagon a charge on my Knights of Rima. And Knights of Rima is much more expensive than Scrap Wag. Mm -hmm. But I think what I, I was thinking was, I just want the shit to be gone. And I can kill the Wyvern later. I don't care if I have to sacrifice or flee with the Knights or anything, because the Wyvern isn't a problem. I, th I thought something like that. <laughs> All right. I was like, I don't want any shit in the way, Shaf. I was like, away with the Shaf. That was what, what I was thinking. All right. So I just did it. <laughs> These guys move up. Um, not. Yeah, a bit, a bit. I move up a bit. My mage, uh, I just make sure I'm within 24 of his uh, wizard Gargantula uh, to cast some magic missiles if I'm not buffing myself. And over here, I just prepare the chef and I stand like so. So I leave, I leave him some some charges. Uh, they are pretty far, uh, but. Yeah, I'm like, if you want to try and fail charge, can, if you make it, I don't know, here, also overconfident, but still, I'm not giving, it's still like a long charge, you know. Yeah. Um, going into her turn two, mm -hmm. she's like looking everywhere, she's like, I want to, I want to be a, I want to engage, I don't want to take any shooting or something, I just want to fuck shit up before he kills all my... Oh, also another important thing I forgot to mention. You see his two gnashers? Yeah. Uh, the one that moved 18 inches, mm -hmm. I shot away. And the other one, I moved the unit of, of reaver on to, so, to explode. Alright, kill a gnasher for a reaver unit. Yeah. 
just remove the shit. I don't <laughs> need the shit. I <laughs> also managed to put one wound on the orc boy chariot. All right, nice, nice. Um, so yeah, one of the rebounds here is gone. So in her turn two, she's like, okay, I'm going in. Charge the Gargantula into the reverse. That was a little bit shorter than I think. I d don't think I measured probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. So th also when she walks, she gets all of her units get swift stride and plus one movement. All right. Uh, so with the plus in movement, I think she needed like an eight. Uh, mm. so she's probably gonna make it um, fleeing and I managed to not run off the board so that's great and I was like if she wants to redirect into my chariot I'm fine with that uh, because that makes me stubborn and I have multiple wounds and I'm good uh, she charges her savages uh, into the general this is a bit risky just because he has a lot of combat rest in the charge but I should do a couple of wounds mm. Uh, but this, I, I, I left it at a long charge. I think I think I left I left it so that she needed to roll an eleven. But then she walked and it became a ten. I think it was something like that. Yeah, ten or a swift stride is. Uh, it's a little a little above average. Yeah, it's in there, I think though. Yeah, so I was like, okay, I would prefer if she didn't make that. <laughs> and she here, I think this was a bad move by her. Oh. Yep. She declares a charge with the Gargantula into with my mage. with the mage into my red lines. She must like have if I'm multiple wounds, right? No, no. I we had a friendly game. I told her uh, before the game, and she was like saying blatantly that that she didn't really want to fight my chariot because it has multiple wounds, and I, yeah, I think she just. I don't know exactly what she was thinking, but in her defense, if I'm trying to play devil's advocate, she might have been thinking, knowing how good my divination spells is against that, and like, if she doesn't get into combat, I might kill her anyway, or something like that, just if I'm trying to mm -hmm. play devil's advocate. I think, still think this was a bad move. But she declares that charge, more charges coming, <laughs> orc were shared into the white lions, also a bad charge, I think. Don't know why she de declared those. Why even into the knights? That's a good charge. Uh, Not with the trolls. She didn't declare with the trolls, no. Oh. Okay. But I think that was like it's pretty far for the gargantula, and it's even farther for the trolls. Um, but still, yeah, I would have declared with the trolls before. They are affected by war too, right? I don't know. It's like green skin races or something. I, oh are they green? Right. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, okay. So not swift stride. Not plus one, one, one six. Alright, alright. Um, but still, I would have declared with the trolls before I declared with the chariot or the gargantula. So, <laughs> yeah, um, so a lot of charges here. Every arrows everywhere. <laughs> and she ends up failing the charge with the gargantula. She didn't redirect it. She might have tried a leadership test and failed it. I don't remember. She failed with the savage orcs. Mm -hmm. Good for me. And she failed with the Gargantula. So she was like, damn it. I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she made it with the chariot. And uh, it took a wound on to dangerous strain, so it has taken two wounds. And the uh, Wyvern makes it in, like so. I'm like, okay, I, I can deal with this. Like, my worry was more that. I had to deal with other shit going through, ending up in my flanks and all that, that could mess up my game plan. Mm -hmm. She going straight at me like this, uh, no crazy bad matchups, I can work with this, I'm optimistic. Um, she, Her mage casts a spell, boom, it says, blows up, uh, I got yeah, 13 archers, guys, but I stick, fortunately. And I issue a challenge here, he kills the champ, but I stick, uh, so even though I'm not safe fast, I th he might have done like two wounds or something. Just. I think so, yeah, it w he rolled, it was pretty bad. Alright. Uh, and it wasn't, I thought it would be better, but 
they wyvern lords are less killy than I thought. All right. Um, yeah, that that was basically it. Going to my turn two. Here I didn't uh, pi take pictures of the shards I declared, but you can see them now. So I charge my one of my princes into Garg the Gargantula, uh, and I sh shaft the Savage Orcs. So I know, like they're frenzy, so they're gonna be, I'm gonna annoy them. And like she can reform to try to charge my flank next turn, but then I can shaft again. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what she does. My general prince charged into her mage uh, on my Gargantula. All right. And I move this shaft like so. Basically, here her trolls can see my flank right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm planning on I move them up because I want to release the fanatics, uh, the mad gits. We we forgot to release them until like the combat phase. So they will release in this turn, but a little bit later. All right. Uh, but basically, what this means is if the fanatics don't kill five. Uh, they are shafting the trolls from charging the flank here. All right. If they do kill five, the trolls can charge here. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reform after this combat. If I don't kill the gargantula, I can still reform. So my other corner, my left corner, is facing his left corner. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm looking right. So then I am still. Then I'm out of his arc. All right. So I'm just gonna wait and see how it goes. Okay. And my white lions moved up, but they didn't uh, charge or anything. The wyvern is it still in combat? Or? Yeah. All right. So my mage jumped over to the white lion unit just to get in closer for for buffs and spells and stuff. And my spearmen's moved up a little bit, and the knights here are in combat. And this is before before combat. Mm -hmm. So after combat, he killed two more guys. I think by now I put cold blood. No. Yeah, th this was it. These guys stuck crazy long, a lot longer than they should have. Right. She was like, oh, f like feeling, you know, like, oh, shit, this shouldn't have happened. You know, <laughs> I don't know what the feeling is called. Um, but at the same time, I was like, like, can it just break so I can kill it <laughs> with <laughs> with my spells? Because at the moment, all of my good magic missiles, all of the targets, both the Gargantulas and the Wyvern, are all in combat, so I can't, I can okay. just buff. I wanted to cast the spells to kill them. Uh, so you want them to die. So, but, so, like, in hindsight, like, me holding them up it isn't really bad, but I was like, I wouldn't be upset if I broke, because... I can start shooting with my my bolt throwers doesn't have any good targets right now. Mm -hmm. My spells doesn't have any good targets. So if they broke, I would just target everything at him. And he has a three of five up. All right, yeah. Should be done. Um, so I end up reforming like so. And yeah, so after combat, I take like six wounds on this guy. So he's he's alive. He takes zero wounds on me. I take six wounds on this guy. And he's alive, takes zero wounds on me. And yeah, this is her turn. So now we're going into her her turn three and she, since she she's alive, she's in combat so she can't cast fireball but she can still cast enveloping embers. Mm -hmm. Kills a shit ton of white lions. <laughs> like uh, like sixteen it looks like. <laughs> it was I was like okay, this was my plan against the trolls and I'm not that's not a plan anymore. You're not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. So that was bad. Um I was like, couldn't you just have died last turn? You're gonna die <laughs> next turn. <laughs> um the trolls charges the re the Savage Orcs charges the Reavers and overrun like twelve inches. Oh. So far as hell. The bad thing here is that it's uh, a breakthrough, and she's in my deployment zone now. <laughs> and so here I'm like, ah, like still, I got my chariots. You can't really deal with them. I can, but I don't know. I want a big win. So here, it feel I'm feeling like your prediction is in play, but I don't want it. I want more. <laughs> 
and she kills one knight, I stick. <laughs> and so this should be my turn three, I think. Yes, kill the Gargantula reform in her turn three. Uh, reform kills reform. So now it looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. Whose turn is this? I'm trying to figure this out. Do you know? Yours? No. Uh, yes. Her savage orcs charged. Yeah, and you kill her gun class in your in her turn. Now it's your turn. Okay. Now it's the. Now it's my turn. This was the at the end of her turn. I killed, the, uh, like, uh, I shot in in my turn, did uh, did six wounds. In her turn, I killed them and reform. Exactly. And now, back to your turn. Now it's my turn. Uh, no, this was probably her turn. No, this is my turn. So, what I did here, yeah, because I moved my white lions. I moved up with my my white lions here. This, this has to have been her turn. Yeah, I, I moved up so that I can get distracting. Now, if he charges me, at least I get distracting because it's a wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is obviously her turn. Uh, <laughs> so in my turn three, I moved up my white lions. Yeah, they're in the wall here al already. I moved up to white lions so I get distracting at least. Mm -hmm. Her turn four, her trolls, the could. Basically, I moved them up. I was like, uh, I might stick if they cause fear. I don't remember now. Do you know? I think they do. I think they do. So I might stick on stubborn, even if they kill them. I get to charge uh, with my one, and both of my princess, but one of them needs like a nine, mm -hmm. and, and I still can do a couple of wounds here with my white lions before they die. And so I just move up. In her turn. Her wet lions fail the stupidity test, stumbles forward instead oh, of charging. They throw the trolls, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the trolls. Uh, but she charges in her wyvern in the flank. And that's basically the only th thing other than that. Like, by now, she doesn't have any magic. Mm -hmm. And, like, the move now the turns go pretty quick. So she just charges in Aisha a challenge, of course. She gets she gets a ton of overkill. I'm stubborn. I probably co blood the two, so I just stick, and I decide to reform and face her. My turn four. I charge charge my spearman into the wyvern's flank. Mm. I charge both my shirt into the troll's flank, and yeah, my previous turn, my turn three, my mage jumped back to the archers, so the mage isn't there yet anymore. Um, so it, yeah, it's pretty bloody game. And basically, what happens here is I start with the Wyvern combat because I want, I hope I'm going to kill him. Mm -hmm. And if I do, I remove his leadership bubble, and the trolls are leadership four. So even though they're steadfast, I can break them. Yeah. Uh, Charge in. I decide not to challenge, uh, which I think was a great move. Because I get like three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen hits with my spearments mm -hmm. um, that hits pretty good and have lethal strikes against monsters. Cab. Oh. Uh, also, I think I get through the bubble version of Stars Align or something like that. Alright. So I end up actually. I, d I think she didn't at all think I would do good against her, mm -hmm. but I kill I kill him with with plenty over. Uh, like my spearmen, I think, do like five wounds on him. Oh, Jesus. And my wetlands would have moved wounds. So I kill him, and that en ends up like so. I oh kill him, my spearmen try to overrun to get into his goblins, mm -hmm. didn't make it. My general break the trolls on steadfast leadership four, pursue them, catch them, but end up between the spearmen and the goblins, which mm. is a little annoying because my next turn I won't be able to charge. Yeah. And but it turned out great. My other chariot failed that charge though. So only one of my chariots got in here into the trolls. Alright. 
hurts and fine. She saw just the bolt over here. These guys move. Away. Oh, they are fleeing. They are fleeing. Yeah. I think my spearmen charges the goblins before they charge the wyvern or something like that, maybe. And they decided to flee, so I redirect into the wyvern or something like that. Alright. Um, and they didn't rally, so they keep fleeing, but really short. And overview looks like this. And my turn five. Reform both my chariots to face the savage orcs, thinking I might be able to break them steadfast. My turn six. Mm -hmm. And the other, uh, my white lines do doesn't reform because I want to try to get the objective. So I'm thinking if I get the goblin unit and get my spearmen and white lions into the depth deployment zone, you I win the it. objective even though I don't break the savage orcs. Yeah. My archers and mage just turn to help buff and do stuff. My uh, her turn six, her goblins run off the board. This was funny. Her savage orcs kill this vulture mm -hmm. over on into the next. This is in my turn. Yeah. Uh, so in her turn, she kills the last vulture, and when she over on into the last vulture, she angles them towards my general and the white lions. All right. She rolls a twelve on the overrun and gets in like so. <laughs> <laughs> That's. Um, in yeah in uh, my turn like she already did she no we're gonna fight in my turn all right uh so that was in her turn and she overran hit him and i was like damn that's uh that's some combat rest but i still fortunately see the rear of the savage orcs with my other prince so i can charge in t for combat rest yeah so and when she did that she moved out of my deployment zone so I don't I only have to move in with my experiments but it's turn six so it doesn't really matter so I just move like so charge in here I'm just trying to grab some last points and I actually I managed to kill the BSP a bunch of savage orcs but they've passed their uh, steadfast test all right but I still get the BSP so at the end of the game I killed every I killed everything let's look at this I killed everything in her army apart from one bolt thrower. Alright. She killed... It looked like she killed a lot, but she actually didn't. Uh, she got half point for the wet lion unit. Mm -hmm. And... My reavers. Basically, I think. Was it anything else? Was the archers below half? Maybe half for archers. Two. No, I don't think so. Um, below 25 percent yeah yeah she I was below 25 with my white lions not mm. with my archers and she killed my reavers was I even below 25 with my white lions one two three four five six yes I was and she come, killed my bolt choice so it ended up uh, a 19-1 to me that's pretty good that's pretty good um, so after the game, like I can't be to, I can't complain. I got 19 points. I still think I played pretty recklessly, but she didn't manage to capitalize on it. Like if um, I played like this on a higher table, I would probably get punished. Mm. Um, but she didn't manage to do anything I couldn't counter. Uh, so it still went well, but still I'm feeling like, okay, the next game I can't make these uh, stupid the mistakes. Same, the same mistakes, yeah. What do you think about the game? Uh, yeah, that's not a game plan, uh, as I said. And uh, yeah, you capitalized on her mistakes, she didn't capitalize on your mistakes. So you won. Fair and square. And Pyromancy was fucking scary. Yeah, Pyromancy is a scary lord. It Definitely. It like... One spell, bam, 13 archers dead. One spell, bam, 16 white lions dead. I was like, fuck! Yeah, it's a dangerous rule. Like, yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, what about your game two? My game two? Uh, I thought to myself, 
well, Coast Day goes to the extreme. You might think you're going for the extreme 20. No, I say I'm going for the extreme bottom. So I got salt zero. Zero. Solid zero. <laughs> Man, you're going for the deep submarine <laughs> style. The deepest I ever been. No, but I faced uh, a dwarf player, uh, and uh, basically he did what you did in this game. I did a pretty big. I did several mistakes that game, but. He capitalized on all of them, so yeah, he has wiped me out. Was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm. At least... I hate facing dwarves, so I feel your pain. Yeah. <laughs> like, the definition... The first player I uh, went against, the Dark of Play, he's like... He's an EC player, so he's really good. But he was good enough, at least, the dwarf player, to... Uh, uh, to capitalize on my mistakes, and which led him to a 20-0 victory, so... Yeah, right. can't complain. So or he can't complain, rather. I can. <laughs> so my submarine tactic was really short and no aiming to start climbing. David still keeping a cool head, mm -hmm. swimming like a shark at the <laughs> bottom of the sea. Just lurking. <laughs> lurking. <laughs> looking for that surfer to kill. <laughs> 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 Alright, see you again.